Our brains have brain cells and proteins are talking to each other. If these proteins are talking to each other in a certain way, they do the function or they carry out the function that they should do. If you then look at brain diseases such as Parkinson's, say one of these proteins disappears, which makes the whole network be different and not work as before anymore. Experimental science can look at one or two parameters that can be very specifically measured. But once one wants to gain a wider, bigger picture understanding of such a complex disease, we get to the level where we need big data, where we need good analysis, and we need the computational power of informatics. The potential that informatics and that all these well-established techniques that have been applied in other fields bring towards the medical sector are just yeah, a great tool to, to be able to advance and to work with. Linking two disciplines that might not obviously go together has given me a lot of abilities, I would say, that in a way prepare me for the future. Being the link between pure research and the wider society was something that I could myself see doing in the future.